Hey there, Dan Lowalbo, Lowalbo Enterprises, National Distributor of Truck Tarp Systems and uh, Tarping Systems for Dump Trucks, Dump Trailers, or any open top container, including roll off trucks. Uh, here are a couple quick pointers on installing a flip tarp system. And today we're going to take a look at the, um, the undermount side spring assembly right here. Just going to be a couple, couple quick pointers on installing that. Uh, you can find how to find the location of the pivot point on one of my other videos, but today we're gonna to look at installing that undermount spring assembly. So let's get started. So I'm looking at installing the undermount spring assemblies for an aero easy cover system. Um, this is a frameless trailer. It's about 34 foot. I found my pivot point, the location where I'm gonna mount it, uh, the pivots, the springs. You can see that little black mark there, then straight down below it, right? right there you can see it is my second point so that that's that's where i'm going to mount my pivot point but my problem with this particular trailer is uh, it's frameless so the pivot for the trailer is right here in the center right where i want to mount my brackets normally i'll mount my bracket right up underneath here flush to the bottom edge of the trailer but in this case i don't have that option uh, fortunately this bracket, this, this box that holds the light and, and hides the pivot for the trailer lift is, is pretty secure and pretty stable. So I'm gonna mount it underneath this guy right here. So the, the undermount springs will go right there. Here's my undermount spring. See it's designated driver's side. So I'll mark those four holes on the bracket, I'm sorry, <laughs> on the side of the trailer and then I'll mount this on there. So we'll take a look at that in a minute. Spring, I drilled my four holes, I brought it up. Um, I wanna get it as tight as I can up against here. It's still a little bit loose. Once I tighten it, I'll push it up into the front edge so that there's no gap here. And if necessary, I may put a brace on this end to pull it up some. Um, just depends on how, how comfortable I am with the fit. Also, in order to get access behind this guy, I took a hole saw, drilled a hole at the end of this, this bracket, this brace, this enclosure, whatever you want to call it, so I can get access to put my nuts on the back of the spring assembly. So I have the complete assembly installed, hold it up top, put my connector on, have the arm just sitting on there. Eventually I'll put some screws right down in these holes right here right here to secure the arm I'm not going to do it yet it's a little premature because of the length of this system i'm going to or the length of this tra trailer i'm going to, have to cut the arm a little bit at the top uh, and then install the upper arm right there with a little bend in it but that's the installation of an undermount spring assembly make sure you're nice and tight square to the body pulled up tight against the bottom of the body or the bracket and what you're using. Both sides are installed. I can complete the installation of this system now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I'll give some information, uh, some contact information for me. Thanks. Bye.